Rock and also roll. Yo, get up here, 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 get up here.
Thank you. We're going to keep things going. This is a fast one. This is off our album, Cycles. This song's called Appraisals and Omissions. coming and sticking around. This is, this is fucking awesome. This next song is a conversation I had with my dad over, over, uh, crazy, it's over 10 years ago now. Uh, my patient, kind, loving father. He never, 
He never asked to grow up in poverty. He never asked to be raised in violence. He didn't ask for the abuse he endured. He didn't ask for any of that. When it came time for my, my mother and father to talk about kids, my dad, my dad was against it. He didn't know what he was capable of. He had no idea what was inside of him. He never had that figure in his life to show him something. I'm thankful every fucking day for my, my, my beautiful and brave mother for reminding my father. Every day you make a choice. You choose to be different. Show the love you were denied. Choose to be better. The song's about making choices. The song's called Cycles. As a band, and as a community, hardcore metal, whatever the fuck you want to call it. This song's about the five stages of grief. As a band, we're experiencing something right now. So, at the end of the show, it'd be awesome if you guys could help us lift up our drummer, Martin. He's going through something right now. He's losing a family member. So if you guys can love on him after the show, 
show them what this community is about. This song's called Stages. It's about the five stages of grief. We do a podcast, and uh, we, we want to just normalize checking in on your homies. That's the premise of the show. Uh, at our back table, we have resource cards. You can take one, take a picture, and uh, the reason I'm sharing this is we wanted to do something different when we came back. Like I said, we've been on a, we've been on a long hiatus, and so coming back, every show that No Bragging Rights plays from now until forever. On that resource card, you go to the website. It'll show you resources within 30 miles of every venue we play. Mental health services, addiction services, uh, shelters, food pantries, clothing programs, postpartum, all kinds of stuff. We're going to keep adding to it. And I, I'm, I'm sharing this because maybe your thing's not mental health, but I promise there are some of you guys in here who are way more 
way more technology savvy. You guys have incredible ideas. I know you guys are gonna have your, you have your passions, and I just, I guess my, I want to encourage you to pursue them, to do them. Change is, change only requires a little bit of effort. This song's called Walking Blind. If you're battling addiction, I pray at some point you surrender to help. about how I used to, I used to use really outdated terms because I, I didn't understand. I was uneducated about mental health. And so I said some really awful things out of ignorance. The song's called Outdated. Thank 
time get up for no business what you guys think of our boys in down swing mouth for war yeah we're excited this is on their second tour with us today we're excited to have mud shot on the tour From Cali, from Cali, love. They're from the north side. We're from, we're from south. Bay Area, baby. So, who's uh, who's seen us for the first time? Awesome, dude. That's fucking awesome. Thank you guys for staying. Appreciate it. Especially on Tuesday night. I know you guys have. Five million other things you guys be doing. So thank you for supporting live music. So ten years ago, over ten years ago, next time I do. Over ten years ago, uh, we were we were releasing our album cycles, and it was an exciting time for us as a band. But as uh, just before we released, is when uh, we got news that one of our buddies had taken his life. And uh, it changed, it changed me, changed, changed our band, uh, completely changed us. And uh, I've been talking about it ever since, over 10 years. Five years ago, I was having these very difficult conversations with my buddy Brian. 
the, the premise of it was very simple. He didn't want to leave his daughter. My buddy Brian was very open about his sickness. He was on antidepressants. We talked about changing his diet. We talked about exercise. We talked about all kinds of stuff, guys. And the reason I'm sharing this is because I've been talking about this for a long time. I've done a lot of my own research on it. And just when I feel like I have answers, just when I feel like I got a grasp of it, we lose people like my buddy Brian. Still lost him. He didn't want to leave. We still lost him. Two, two weeks before we leave for the tour, I lose another friend to suicide. And, uh, it made it hard coming back. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It was a little hard coming back and trying to find your positive things to say about this because this is, this is uncomfortable. This isn't, I don't enjoy this. I don't enjoy talking about this. But something that's been positive and coming back, we've been to places we hadn't been in like 10 years and it's been, it's been encouraging to see friends that I knew that were in a one place 10 years ago and to see them one they're still here and two seeing the change that's taking place in their life because they they're able to stick around they're able to fight you know maybe maybe we don't we didn't get to save my buddy will we didn't get to save my buddy blake or my buddy brian but i don't know maybe something maybe something hit someone different today i'm gonna leave you guys just two more thoughts one if you're in here tonight and you self-harmed, if you've made an attempt on your own life, understand that you are now a fucking weapon against this. Do not be embarrassed or ashamed of your experience. You are a fucking weapon against this. We preach a lot of community in places like this. We preach a lot of acceptance. Yet, why are there still people who feel alone in a room like this? If you're in here tonight and you feel alone, look around. You have at least one thing in common and it's music. I promise you have more. If you're struggling, please get help. If you see someone struggling, put your ego aside, reach out. I kept quiet over 10 years and I'm still talking about it. I live with that. If you see something, say something. If you need help, get help. We're no bragging rights. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. This last song is called Hope Theory. We believe that things can and will get better.
Yo, if you like what you heard tonight, support it. Support it. Thank you, guys.